let it be known, this is probably the worst thing we've done so far. So I'm just going to use this stick. This isn't our first try breaking ground on our solar array. If you've been watching our videos, you know we really struggled when we rented an auger to try and drill three foot holes for concrete footers for the solar mount. We even reconsidered the whole plan. We've given up. We've decided we can't build here and we're leaving. Not really. Then a neighbor was nice enough to try using his larger auger attachment but we ran into similar troubles there. So this time we're trying something different. So yeah, today is excavation day. We got a new cat rental for a day. And um, yeah, we have a plan to the plan to the plan. I mean, and, uh, we have a plan. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna do that part two and do part three. There's usually about three ideas. So this will be my first time using this. Uh, it was very nerve wracking just loading it on onto our trailer. And uh, they could have delivered it, but I was like, oh, I have a trailer. Okay, cool. Here we are. We got one day with it. We're trying to get locked up. All Brian is like, removing right now with the excavator is rock. There's essentially no dirt. So yeah, this is gonna take a while, even with a pretty decent sized excavator like this. So I feel like we made the right decision to just like jump up a few levels instead of going with a smaller rock. The world's biggest rock is here. Is it? It's a pretty big rock. It's very big. This is the spot that worries me the most. This is two feet right here. So this is gonna be a lot more. And this is not even where this is not even the spot. The spot's right here. Yeah, that's probably like four feet. Three feet? Four feet? It's about three it's actually three feet. Actually it's less than three feet because that doesn't count. Right. That's pretty good. Oh there's a there's the rock. There's the rock. Yeah. And then that one. It's that rock, but it's also down there. But it's there. But this one, there's no post that's going there. The post is going here. And then the post is going here. So I don't like the. I couldn't get any deeper. I've, I was going at this one for a long time. Yeah. But midway through fighting all of the rocks there, he decided, let's just put the batteries in the watershed for now and then move them to the house once it's built. So I think this is gonna consolidate our sheds from two to one, which will also greatly speed up our timeline for getting ourselves like really established here if we don't have to build another shed. Yeah, it's been a day. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go now. I didn't even do a lot of work. I mean, I did a lot of work, but I didn't use the excavator, so yeah. I'm done. 
So it's actually been nearly two weeks since we had the excavator here. A lot has happened. Not here on the property, but <laughs> in our lives. So we moved, we had the excavator on a Wednesday, and then we moved onto the property the next day on Thursday. I guess it's story time. So she was feeling a little ill. We did some stuff. Um, I was mainly working over that weekend. I was mainly working on just getting, <clears throat> being able to put water onto the trailer and taking the waste out. Monday, I was ready to hit it hard, but uh, I was like, man, I'm really tired on Monday. I'm really exhausted. So we just decided to do like little little stuff here and there, clean up. I had a lot of clean up I had to do around the construction site and stuff. Tuesday, I couldn't get out of bed. So she was feeling better, Chelsea was. Me, no. So I was basically in bed through Friday, I believe. And Saturday, I started to feel a little better. Friday, I started to feel a little better, but I wasn't like well enough to, to work. She didn't interact with nobody, I'm telling you. I have her locked down. She's in the trailer, she's working. She comes out, walks the dogs and stuff. That's it, that's all she's allowed to do. If you don't know my humor, you know I'm being sarcastic, but she's allowed to do other stuff, but that's all she does. It, 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 it was bad, man, it was not fun. So it feels, feels, feels really crappy. Anyways, so here we are, a couple, couple weeks later than we wanted to, finally gonna try to get these holes deeper. My goal today is to get to at least, to get to my, to my, to my goal of 36 inches on the spots that I need to be. Um, I did dig the trench, but I think we're gonna just try to still use our sauna tubes um, in the sp certain spots, backfill it all, uh, it should work out good. If it doesn't, I, mean, I, 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 I don't know what to say, I mean, uh, I'm, I tried. So, <laughs> so here we are, let's get it. This is probably the worst thing we've done so far. Not worst in quality, worst in energy and time. I thought the jackhammer was gonna be a silver bullet. I thought it was gonna break through the rocks. No, day one should have been the only day. There's gonna be a day two. How'd that happen? Day one, we only got like one trench done. Ugh. Yeah. Digging holes with a jackhammer. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. Why would you dig a, dig a hole traditionally? <laughs> so, yeah, that, the first one's probably going to be the worst one. It's at um, 28. Is that what I measured? Oh, this one looks like 23, 22. We only want to be at 36 in all of them. And the slope, so. We are hoping that today will be easier than yesterday. The last two we did yesterday were really hard. It took like an hour and a half to do two holes with both of us working. <laughs> Those were really bad though. Those yeah. were like 18 inches or something. <laughs> they were awful. Ground rods, technically they're eight feet, eight feet deep from eight feet long, and you're supposed to hammer them in with you know different tools you can use. If you can't do that, 
you can dig eight feet trench, eight, eight foot long trench. It's gotta be thir uh, thir at least 30 inches deep. I dug one here. It looks pretty trashy. I just wanted to look at it for the first time in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Tempted to start a new one, but I mean, it's bad. I don't, it doesn't have to be that wide. It just has to be wide enough to get the thing in there, but we got a big rock in there and it's probably like 10, 10 inches deep. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna take a break and we'll figure out what I'm gonna do. Probably we'll just mess with that one a little bit. We'll see. What's up, YouTubes? Oh, whatever. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why that's like the funniest thing. Hello. All right, so today we have the excavator again. Last time we, um, I picked it up with our trailer and this time I was like, just deliver it. <laughs> Make it easier for me. Uh, so it was, but they dropped it off actually all the way up on top of the property, uh, near the top of the property. So um, we're gonna start with, with um, the, we're gonna put, the, we're gonna put a washer and dryer in our shed. And so I'm just gonna, just draw a small line uh, to the septic. It's just like, I don't know, 20 feet, maybe, maybe a little more or less. And then we're gonna trench from our solar to the shed as well. Um, so for the cables. For the cables, yeah. So I don't have all. I have the cable. I need to get the, um, the conduit cover, the, the rigid um, PVC <laughs> for 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 electric. And yeah, we'll be good to go on that. So we're gonna rock and roll. This shouldn't take. It's gonna take a while, but you know. <laughs> well, it's gonna take a while because like we're a week overdue being sick. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna hear that. Yeah, I'm still. I feel like I, I feel like the cough came back or something like deep down here. So let's dig some things. Yeah, we're gonna dig. Dig. Yeah. I can't wait until we start building things instead of digging. I'm like, so oh, I'm tired so of done digging. digging. Gosh. But we're not done. We're up to today. Today. Today, I think is it. Today's the only day we're renting the. Excavator, but they're not gonna pick it up for like four days because <laughs> because they don't pick it up on the weekends. So. As a business model, I don't know how that works, but I'm not complaining. Hey, so yeah, yeah. I'm not complaining either. Just let's, in case, uh, let's see what we get done today. Yeah, woo! It's a trench. It's a trench. Not a very good one. Most importantly, it means we can wash clothes. <laughs> so we have the uh, washer drain water um, line trenched out. Um, not perfect, it's good enough for us though. It's good enough to work. Um, now we're gonna run a trench from the solar array to the powerhouse, shed house, whatever, shed. Utility shed. Utility shed, that's it. What'd you call it? <laughs> The powerhouse. Oh, I like that name. That's a good name. Yeah, but it's also the water. So yeah, true. So I'm not really didn't like I said. It's probably in another video. I didn't really want to put water and the power in the same place, but this it is. It's gonna work. It's only gonna be temporary, and I don't know. It's mine, so I do what I want. <laughs> We're doing what we can do. We're doing what we can do. It's a lot of work to build a shed and do other stuff, especially when you get sick and stuff. Oh, another thing we're, so we're gonna do also is uh, we're gonna build Chelsea an office now in, in lieu of a second shed. So we got all the material for it, um, except for like windows and doors. So we're gonna clear a little spot there for that. It's gonna be small, 100 square feet. And uh, yeah, should we work out well? <laughs>
just thought we would point out we apparently picked the worst possible spot to put our solar system mount. <laughs> so see, this is dirt. Dirt moves it's very quickly. Rocks. I mean, there's some rocks. That's but then, rocks. like three feet this way, is literally just rock. It's all rock. Look at this. Rock. We're down with the dirt. Jackhammer. It required a jackhammer. So this is not a how-to video, but pro tip. If you're gonna dig really deep, maybe make sure it's not all rock first. <laughs> ah. Okay, so the trench for the solar system conduit has been dug. Brian was able to get in a better, deeper hole for the grounding rod, so that's taken care of as well. Now we are in a different part of the lane. Oh, it's dirt. It's all dirt. It's all dirt. I don't understand. Everywhere besides where we put the solar system has been dirt. It's ridiculous. What Brian is doing now is he's leveling out a spot where we're going to build my office space. He's going to level out the pad for it, and it should make life easier when we get around to building this, which I think tentatively will be the end of October. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Office foundation area is set over there, which is awesome. And now, <laughs> now Brian's gonna plant me some trees. Give it to everybody else. <laughs> Alright, so that's what's going on. 